Hey Natural Beauties, it's your girl Natural Journey coming to you with another video. I have been re remiss because I have not been here in a while, so I want to thank everybody for your patience and those of you telling me you miss me and everything. I've missed you too. Um, just wanted to give you a couple of things. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do is answer a question. Somebody asked me how do I do my Afro puffs, and um, which is what I'm wearing right now. And so I wanted to show you, first I wanted to show you what my hair looks like outside the Afro puff, which... It's pretty crazy, but this is my hair and my afro, you guys. I don't wear it like this that often, but, um, but, you know, a lot of people ask me why don't I wear it like this, and I really don't know why. Um, I feel like it's so big because my hair grows out, and just for like a quick hair update, like a length check. You can see, like, when I pull the back of my hair out, you can see it comes down to about right here. So, I'm real happy with my hair growth. Ta da! And even up here, like, when I pull it out, because, you know, I cut it all off so it's growing in layers. It's a little bit shorter than, than back here, but it's still growing pretty nicely. So, again, my, hair, my goal is to grow my hair long. And it'll be interesting as it gets longer because I don't know if it's going to go out like this or down. But at any rate, um, at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is show you how I put it back up in the ponytail puff. Because a lot of people want to know how do I um, put it back in the puff. And it's so easy. This has been like the easiest hairstyle for me. Um, typically, I wash my hair every, I'm going to say probably every two weeks. I don't wash my hair every week, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, one time I went as long as three weeks and actually it held up really well. But the first week when I wash my hair, that's usually when I, um, detangle it really well, deep condition it and I twist my whole head up and it's pretty much a two strand twist where I take, you know, two pieces of hair and I twist, you know, very simple. And I usually do a size twist, um, with probably this this much hair if you can see see that probably that much hair and I'll two strand twist it um, like this and I'll put I have my spray bottle and I'll put I'll spray water on it and put coconut oil on it and after I've washed and conditioned it I also have the um, I put the kinky curly leave-in conditioner on there so that's really all I twist my hair with the kinky curly leave-in conditioner coconut oil that's it and um, and then for the first three or four days, I'll wear it in a twist out. And um, and then by the time it starts getting old, because I, I do work out and so I go to spinning and things like that. So by that fourth day or so, I usually have it back in a ponytail puff. And I just wear it like that for the next week or so. And that's pretty much it. I don't mess with my hair that much. I don't comb it. I don't retwist it every night. I used to retwist it every night, but now I don't. I'm so lazy. I don't even do that. But um, I try not to manipulate my hair that much. I think that's why I've gotten so much hair growth. Um, and for those of you who watched some of my other videos, you know I was getting my hair in those kinky twists. And that's a low manipulation style. And the stylist that I used did a really good job because she didn't pull my hair tightly. It was, uh, you know, felt very natural. The hair she used, it all looked natural. And that really helped my hair grow too. So I have uh, experienced quite a bit of hair growth. My year anniversary was June the 14th. So, and when I first cut it, if you saw my Big Chop video, it was like this. So it's it's going, doing really well. So anyway, this is... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to make it look halfway decent. I done pulled out the hair and stick it back up. Anyway, I wanted to also talk to you today about um, a couple other things. Uh, many of you all have seen my fruit smoothie video, and I highly recommend if you're trying to uh, detox your body um, or if you're moving towards vegetarianism, the best thing you can do to detox your body is to do a raw fruits and vegetable diet. And so many of you all have seen my fruit smoothie video because I usually drink my fruit smoothie every morning. And along with, um, before my fruit smoothie, I'll usually drink a gla two glasses of water with a whole lemon squeezed in it. That is a great way to um, begin the detoxification process in your body. And I usually drink that. 
And right after that, if you all, I mean, maybe TMI, but that usually gets your system going. So every morning, you should have a nice elimination. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then you drink your fruit smoothie. So what I added, started adding to my fruit smoothie, the same recipe that I was doing before, but I have since added um, this supplement. This is an omega-3 fatty acid uh, fish oil supplement. And this one is flavored pina colada flavor. So it gives a nice little flavor to your fruit smoothie if you're doing that. And lately what I've been doing are blueberries, wild cherries, and pineapple. And I also put some spinach, a big handful of spinach in it. And then I put some of this in there. And I still use my coconut water. I have this um, big container of coconut water. Now what I also like, this is just a plain, plain coconut water. But they have a... Um, flavor called acai and pomegranate. Same, I think it's the same company, the Vita Coco. Love that acai and pomegranate. So that adds a nice flavor to your fruit smoothie. So also I add um, these B12 supplements uh, to help you with energy, helps your metabolism. And it's just a packet. It's a little packet like this. You just put this packet into your um, fruit smoothie. It doesn't even have a taste, really. But it has your B uh, complex in here, chromium, and creatine. And uh, these things are supposed to help you with energy, um, especially for those who work a lot or trying to work out after work or before work. And you just need that extra bit of energy. Um, and it helps with your metabolism. So I've been doing these for probably the past three months and putting those in. And I got this supplement at, uh, all my supplements I got at either Whole Foods or there's a store um, in Montgomery County where I live in Maryland that has a store called Roots, which is another organic, all natural store. And But this one actually I got from Whole Foods because it says 365 on it. So bam, there you go. And then last thing, um, I was talking to a... Uh, a woman at the Whole food store about my fruit smoothies and I was telling her I usually drink them for breakfast and she explained to me how in the morning your body also needs some protein to help with your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands is that uh, gland that helps with your metabolism and it feeds off of protein. So in the morning time, which is when that adrenal gland gets to going, you need to give it some protein. So I started adding to my protein shake whey protein. Now, the caveat to whey protein is that it is derived from dairy. So typically, I don't eat that much dairy. Like even for, if I have cereal or something, I use almond milk. And I rarely eat ice cream, although I still like ice cream. But I rarely eat it. And so some people have said to me, well, Cheryl, if you've stopped eating dairy or whatever, why are you using whey protein? But from what I understand is that your body, whey protein is the easiest for your body to assimilate. And it gives you a good source of protein. This is not high in calories. There's no artificial sweeteners or artificial flavors in here. And so it works for me. I don't have any um, side effects or anything to using the whey protein. So I'll usually put all three of those things in my smoothie with the spinach, with the cherries, the pineapple, and the blueberries. And it tastes really, really good. So I'll recommend that. The last thing I want to talk to you all about is uh, food combining. And that is a, a theory that you're, you should eat foods that your body digests, that makes your body digest it very easily. So I recommend, um, and, and the, the concept recommends that you don't eat proteins and starches together. You only eat proteins and vegetables together or starches and vegetables together. And you're supposed to eat your fruits by itself and particularly melons, watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, you should eat those by itself without any other type of fruit and then eat fruit and then eat your vegetables and eat your proteins with your vegetables and your starches with your vegetables. So a lot of people eat chicken pasta, chicken alfredo and, and uh, you know, chicken and mashed potatoes and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of times that's why after you eat, you usually feel really tired and you get lethargic and uh, because your body is trying to digest that food and the enzymes that your body needs to digest that food um, counteract each other. 
because your body produces one enzyme to digest proteins and another one to digest starches and they are completely opposite so they counteract so that food just sits in your stomach and sits in your colon because it's not able to digest so you could have food in your system for up to a week or, or longer because your body is not digesting it so I think if you have suffered from digestive issues that you should try um, that you should try that food combining theory. Google it, look it up, and let me know what you think. Anyway, before I close, let me show you how to do my ponytail puff because I'm already way beyond my allocated minutes that I said I was going to do. So basically what I have are three regular, these are like uh, the headbands you can get. One is thick and these two thin ones. Typically I only need one, but because these are old, I needed three together. So I just put these all around my head like this. Then I twist it. Put it back around so now it's tight around my neck and then I just pull it back like this and then push it up and you push it to wherever you want it to be um, I usually push it to about right there and voila now before I do that typically what I've done is spray the front of my hair put a little bit of olive vera gel or something on it some coconut oil on it and then brushed it so that when I put my ponytail uh, holder on it, it'll look really smooth. So there you go for my ponytail puff. You can see it. So anyway, I hope you all got some help, healthy and helpful tips from my video. Please rate me. Please subscribe. Please pass the word. And thank you all for all your subscriptions and your kind words. God bless you. Have a good one.